Hi, this is Cass from Aussie Cass Plays, and welcome to part 25 of my Surviving Strangerville Let's Play slash challenge. So I played a day off screen, and today is actually, uh, it's Megan's birthday, and it's the evening of Megan's birthday, because she stayed up all night like she normally does, and she was very, very tired. So I've had her uh, get some sleep. And in the meantime, Pearl, who, this is Pearl, by the way, she's had a little bit of a makeover. I gave her a waitressy kind of outfit as well as her regular every day. And I did the same thing. I'll show you Grady as well, actually. I did the same thing for Grady. This shirt's custom content. It's like the Strangerville shirt with a little vest over the top, which is super cute. But he's also got a farmer costume that I gave him. To remind me, as much as anything else, of whose job is what. So, the Sims have all been working very hard. Let me just t touch base with you guys on skills. We've got... He's got gardening level 5 already. Pearl's at cooking level 4 already. He's at... Handiness level 8. She's at level 10, obviously, in fishing. He's at level 10 fitness. She's at level 9, almost level 10 mischief. She's just doing some reading. Little Irma, level 4 logic. She needs to get to level 10 of that. And Megan is almost level 10 charisma. We're nearly there, guys. I think the Grady hurdle was the big hurdle. So I'm very excited, but obviously... Oh, and the other cool thing, Harvest Fest plants. We got potatoes. <laughs> Everything's coming up Millhouse, you guys. This is amazing. So I'm a bit traumatized at the idea that I'm about to age up Megan, but at the same time, I'm like, well, I mean, if she's she's achieved a lot in her life, and you know, being an elder is not the end of the world. Was I doing a dining table? So she's pretty much ready to get up now, which is awesome. So I'm gonna have her do that. And she can go fertilize a bush. And I might have her actually put some clothes on. Maybe we can have a party. Oh my goodness. We I'm going to use the phone to schedule it just because that's the mechanic. But obviously they don't have a phone. So I'm going to have her plan a social event just because it would be nice to see everyone in their party gear. I think that would be cool. And now that the rush is off on getting Grady leveled up, we can actually take the time. He's feeling super tense. Stranger danger, stranger danger. I mean, Irma is very threatening, so obviously that's a fair reaction. I had him actually come over, sit here, and do this just because he needed to get his social and his fun up. All right, we're going to have a B-Day party. I guess we'll do a gold event. One birthday sim, Megan. We'll invite everyone else in the household. And none of that. Because we can't invite anyone from elsewhere. So there we go. Look at everybody in their, like, party outfits. Okay, let's just check everyone out. Because you guys have probably not seen this before. And frankly, it's been so long since I put my sims in these. I don't even remember. Megan, cute little wolf theme. Patrick, still asleep, so we don't know. Connie, rocking this outfit. I do dig Connie. She's a very mischievous little young lady. We have Mariko over here in her little cat outfit. And he's... Did he get changed? He did. He's got his, like, vest and... Or sort of nice knitted cardi and some pants. He's looking really, really stressed, but... Wearing kind of ripped farmery kind of clothes. Pearl, again, ripped clothes. Like I said to you guys before, I do try and do ripped clothes. I think that shirt is custom content. And little Irma, again, ripped clothes, because that's how I roll. So I'm going to have... What are we doing? No, 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 no. Come over here. Actually, I should get Patrick out of bed. Come on, buddy. Although he's going to... Actually, I'll leave him for a bit. Play musical instruments for one hour. Do we even have anyone who's even remotely competent? It seems to recall he was interested in guitar. Maybe you could practice that. I'll just wait for Patrick to finish dealing with the vines in the shower, I think. Uh, Alright, somebody needs to tell jokes. 
Well, and I, the other thing I did off screen was I've moved Irma's bed in here because now that Pearl is a teen, I thought she might want a room of her own. But of the two of them, I actually thought Pearl was the one who would still be more into toys and stuff. Irma's very logical and kind of, she's like, no, I'm a crazy inventor type. <laughs> That's the direction I want her to go, crazy inventor. So I want her to kind of have that vibe. So I've given her like a picture on the wall, which I'm sure they've scrounged from somewhere. Oh, she had a lonely recess at the school that she doesn't go to. Let's just click a button. How are we going? Uh, Connie, can I get you to tell some jokes? Tell her a knock-knock joke and a fashion joke. Obviously, fashion in the compound runs to ripped pants and skirts and, you know, that's hilarious. All right. Pearl, I need you to cook a group meal. We do actually have a lot of food in the fridge, but that's all right. So she can do spaghetti now. We haven't had spaghetti in the whole of this plant challenge, right? So obviously we have to do that. Have the birthday sim chat while happy. Yep, that's ticked off straight away. Uh, all right, Patrick, can I just get you to get changed? And then we're going to blow out the candles. Because I feel like for Megan... This has been her life's work, right? She's been, since her mum was the one who re accidentally released the spores and kind of kicked off the second phase of the infection. I mean, the army's obviously to blame for the first part. But since that, this is like, since the apocalypse has happened, as once she was an adult, she's felt like a personal responsibility almost. So yeah, I think, Oh, Brad sent her a gift, Madison Irwin. Oh, her family all sent her gifts. All right, let's call everyone to a meal. And then we're going to thank her for coming. And we're going to see if I can do some stuff that raises her charisma while we're here. Where are we all going? Oh, the bar stools. Yeah, okay, sure. I guess we're talking to Connie. All right, brighten her day. Oh no, we're going somewhere else. Ah, uh, The Sims. <laughs> You're nothing if not consistent, my friends. Oh, we're going back to where we came from. Yeah. Let's tell a group story about booty. What? Oh, I was like, who's that? It's Grady. I'm an idiot. All right, let's tell Mariko and Randolph and... Grady and Irma and Patrick a story. Just because the others are busy. Oh, cooking level five for Pearl. And she needs to eat some cake. Oh no, we've been eating cake already. I'll put that in the fridge because we didn't really need it. I'm excited for Irma to be a teen. I think once she's a teen and she gets her um, logic skill up i'm gonna start adding more technical items like i was thinking i could get a lava lamp uh because she my justification when she levels up oh, actually if i get her aspiration up read with an adult for two hours because i want her to buy the frugal trait how much does it cost frugal two thousand all right well we clearly need to work on that don't we uh level up in logic skill need someone new whoa no, no, get back inside. Ugh. Lock door for everyone. All right. Maybe someone could read with her. How does that work again? I don't even remember. I think the adult has to initiate it. So uh, with an adult sim selector, click on a book and then select read to child. Fine. Lord of the Swings. Read to Irma. All right, we'll do that. Look, we're kind of this is like a tales by the campfire kind of vibe except i mean obviously i think this interaction actually came from the what's it called outdoor retreat pack so i mean that campfire vibe is legit but yeah did i just hear biscuit i feel like i just heard biscuit oh where are you going oh we're watching him okay Oh, she's enjoying herself. That's fine. I'm pleased she's having a good birthday and we've got a little bit of cake left. So 
Someone needs to compliment the birthday sim. Well, Patrick, can I get you to come over here and give her a compliment? Because she's still pretty hot. You know, just because she's got a little bit of extra wrinkles on the face. Doesn't mean she's not hot. This is really cute. It's like they're having a little actual kind of like raising morale event. I should probably have been doing this sooner, but I've been very focused on just let, getting people to sort of meet minimum requirements by certain times. And the main sort of challenge we have now is we need to get everyone to level 10 before Megan dies. So I think how long is it on normal lifespan? Does an elder last? I want to say a couple of weeks. I mean, they don't tell you. They just tell you how long they've lived. So I don't know. Actually, you know what I think I'd like to get? I wonder if she could like, what I'm going to do, here's the thing. We're going to go in here. I'm going to experiment. And this is going to be my justification for her getting like a stereo working. And then we could add like a little stereo and a dance floor. I'll see if I can find one that's like old timey looking, maybe like a jukebox or something. Because I've got... Randolph, who, for whatever reason, even though he's never had the trait that I'm aware of, gets the negative, I haven't danced for a while buff. All right, can I get you? Who's just standing around? Can I get you to? We need to compliment her. I don't know why I'm so interested in seeing if I can complain about parents. They're dead. That's not okay. Why is compliment not available? Oh, it's under H, isn't it? Because it's got to be heartfelt. I mean, fair. All right. Uh, Grady also can give her a heartfelt compliment. Uh, 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 uh. Pearls acquired the charisma skill. Ooh, Mariko's feeling lusty. Why? Hang on. Why are you talking to Patrick? When you're feeling... No, Mariko, stop it. Stop it. Besides which, I'd already decided that you were more inclined towards another sim. What? Buy a gift? I'm confused. The whole romance tab is... missing. Buy a gift from the phone, the computer, or build mode. You can use any item from her inventory as a gift. Oh, now it's working. Uh, oh, okay, now it's weird. All right, I'm going to have her compliment Connie's appearance. So how are we going here? We need one more person to compliment the birthday sim. I mean, I feel like he can do it again. Ah, well, we got some balloons. Yay, balloons. All right, good work, everybody. Now I need to get them all back to, you know doing their thing all right so fertilize and there's a ton of leftovers and then she needs to do this he doesn't really need to do anything but I'll have him take a shower and then I don't know work out she still needs to get her mischief that last little bit but I'm hoping that this will be enough because they are very close. Grady's taking himself off to bed and I actually had been picking up a bit of a kind of vibe. Well, you can't dare her to streak the doors locked. I'd been picking up a bit of a vibe that maybe there was something between these two, between Mariko and Connie. <gasps> Mischief level 10! She perform, perform an air horn. All right, let's do it. Let's perform an air horn. I've never done this before. It's going to be really annoying. I know it is. He's almost to like whatever level four. Oh, he needs to eat something. Hurry up. Oh, that was loud. Yay, guitar level four. All right, stop. Because you need to eat something. And then go to bed. Archie, see what I mean? I just, I feel like there's something here. And get to know. And 
confess her attraction. Um, pick up line. He's <laughs> um, Randolph sitting there like, oh, hello. <laughs> so this is what happens when they have like some Italian cuisine and they get in their fancy party clothes. Oh, Mariko's really tired though. Yeah, sorry. I guess it's bedtime. Neither of them have double beds either. So yeah, that's a thing. Because Connie doesn't either. They're both in these two rooms. So if they were to hook up, I would have to get them a bigger bed. All right, get some leftovers. And he can finish eating. And then also go to bed. It's funny. For some reason, everyone else seems to be on a different sleep cycle than Megan is. Look at him. He's pretty buff. I wonder how long until Patrick's birthday. I knew Megan was older. I'm just wondering how much older. Uh, next birthday is Irma's, which is five days. And then Connie. And then... Oh, that says that it's Megan's birthday again. Is that code for that's when she's going to die? Is that how long I have? Eight days. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think we can get it done. I think I think we're pretty close. The fact Connie got there, she's been a bit difficult because her skill level ups have all required interactions. So yeah, like I feel like we're getting there. So little Irma's over here working on her logic skill. It's handy. Like with Grady and Pearl, I actually, I mean, it wasn't relevant for Grady because it was down to the wire with him, but for Grady and Pearl, the skills that they had to get were cooking and gardening, which are skills that kids actually can't earn. Whereas for Irma, the skill is logic, which she can earn as a child. I think the rules say that she has to be a teen or above to for it to count. But I think that basically when she gets to be a teen, we should be ready. This is my goal. And I love the idea of getting a bit more tech in here. The other thing I've been thinking about is a pool. Because if you have a look, I'll just go top oops, I'll just go top down. I reckon up here there's loads of room. We could put a door here. And like I wonder how much it would cost. Pools are expensive, so I could do like like that kind of a space. And then let's just see. I can always undo this if it doesn't work. Um, 3,700. But let's have a look in here. That's 1,200 worth of... And I got some balloons. I really actually don't think they fit with the survivalist kind of vibe. So maybe not. All right. Lighting. I feel like I'm going to have to do my go-to lights to start with I mean it's not like a day at the beach or anything but you know having somewhere you can swim in a zombie apocalypse is not something that should be oh we're almost out of money it's not a thing that you should like underestimate there we go it's a work in progress I mean it's a pretty decent sized pool for an underground zombie survival bunker frankly I think they're doing all right so yeah. All right. How are you going over here, lady? I do need some fun. Oh, she's so close though. Look. Look, 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 look. <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh, talk about your best birthday ever. She can now upload a viral video and can call her boss to negotiate a promotion. Neither of those skills are in any way useful in a survival situation, but that's okay. You can go to bed now. Hello? There we go. Alright, that's another one off my list. And let's talk like a pirate day. Go figure. I should... Let me just check. Are there any events in there that I want to cancel? I don't think so. Yeah, that's amazing. I'm really, really happy with how her birthday went. I feel like her getting to level 
10 on her birthday is pretty awesome, frankly. This does not look safe, just for the record. The fire is hovering above because I downsized it slightly, but does not look safe. Just saying. Just putting it out there. But yeah, so that means I've got a list here. Whoa. Oh, damn it. Is everyone going to wake up? Yes. Damn you all. Go back to bed. And then he's going to need food. Uh, I guess since you're up, go to the bathroom then go back to bed again. You can do the same. Damn it. <laughs> you can do the same. Oh, apparently he's chosen to do it in the opposite order. That's fine. Grady's getting himself a shower. Good call. Stinky butt. And Pearl apparently has decided she's up as well. So she can grab some leftovers as well. And I'm going to actually just have her clean up. Now, Grady, once you've been to the toilet and eaten, you've got a lot of work to do in here. So what I've been doing is getting him to harvest the tomatoes and then just sell everything else. And then he can weed. And is there a water somewhere? Does anything need watering? You need watering. Okay. That should take care of everything. So he'll be right for like a few hours. But check this out. Swimming pool. Pretty excited. I'll have to get Patrick in here and do some laps or something. I'd also love to get like some floaties and stuff. But we can't really sort of do any of that or justify any of that. I think once uh, Randolph gets up, I'll have him maybe make some more tables. And in fact, there's a table right here he can finish. So yeah, once he's done that, we'll be okay again because that'll give us another 600 simoleons and we'll be fine. Maybe then I can add some stuff to the pool. But I reckon on that note, I'm actually going to end this part here. Looking at all my little sims. I'm very proud of how they've done. Look at her. She's so pretty. She's not looking very happy though. She's probably feeling tense from that whole earthquake biz. Well, she needs amusement. Fair. All right. Well, she's a lady of leisure now. because She doesn't have to do anything. She's recruited all of the Sims to the colony that she needed. She's gotten her charisma to level 10. So now she just needs to survive until everyone else is level 10. And then we can put a tick in it. I'm very excited. All right, you guys, if you've enjoyed, like and subscribe. You know the drill. And I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.